Hello everybody, Stuart here, and we are playing Okami HD. <laughs> this is one of those games I wanted to play for a long time, never did, and now we have it, because HD releases can be good, solely for that reason. Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of... Proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. By the way, this voice is very banjo kazoo. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. And lots of petals. Oh. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. At first, when it said a body like a mountain, I thought it was something like a girl, and I was like, damn, that's rude. But no, he's a dragon. Alright. It's a hydra. Is it technically a hydra? I don't know. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. Alright. By the way, if I mess up some pronunciation, please forgive. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shironui. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shironui's swift movements. Alright, it's a long intro. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into right. the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast cave in place of his beloved. Oh, this will go over well. What could possibly go wrong? The moon cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks, with a building on its back, apparently. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi, Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. Heh, <laughs> nary. Alright. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and grasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. Alright, we already know the wolf was here, guys. Felt like that should, have, that should have waited a second. It was then that the wolf appeared. <laughs> As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shironui the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its, fang, its fearsome claws, Shironui leapt toward Orochi. Orochi feared its terrifying head. Reared its terrifying head, I can read. Reading its fangs for battle. I mean, who bears their claws? They bear their fangs, come on. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Wait for it, we'll get to that part. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shiranui summoned uh, gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As a giant paintbrush. Convenient. As Orochi closed in on Shiranui, sharpened claws glistening. <laughs> a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shiranui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Alright, so... It's not going well, man. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. But Shiranui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. Even though we were in a cave, but I guess we're out of that now. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. His giant freaking sword that's as big as him. He's cloud strife. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary again. Channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms. He leapt ferociously <laughs> toward Orochi, his sword post high, poised high. All the strength into his arms, so he could leap with his arms. <laughs> the golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. So that's they all have a different helmet. Or hat or something. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. Damn. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shiranui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. When did the poison become a thing? That was never mentioned. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. Kamiki? Kamiki? 
Now, when they reached the village, Shiranui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shiranui let out a hoarse and pit pitiful bark, and closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. This is a very long intro story. Damn, guys. Peace had at last returned to Kaniki Village. In honor of Shiranui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Cool. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukiyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. That ain't gonna happen. Never look forward to that. However, this is not the end of the story. Now we have color. There is more to this tale and sound than most people know. A hundred years had passed since Nagi and Shiranui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. They've been around for a hundred years? Damn. They old as hell. Is this the cave? What is this? Hello. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Tsukuyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? I don't know, black figure, is it? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale. Alright. Well, apparently it was sealing in the thing. Oh, I've got a bad. You fool! We're running away, eh? Come back here, you yellow belly bastard. Come again, what's coming to you? Hi! Oh, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds, speak the words I wish darkness unto the world. Why not? Utter the prayer to me and unleash my power. Dude, you've already messed up once. Don't do it again. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. I mean, you're gonna die anyway, but... I'd rather him just be pissed. If he did say the words, bye trees. Things be worse than they are now. I don't know. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real the real story begins. Finally. I mean, is it really protected? Oh shoot. Hello lady. Wood Sprite, Sakuya. Sakuya? Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. <laughs> just like that ancient prophecy. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years. I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. I thought I was protecting it, fighting the wolf. Materasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Alright. Bam! Shit. Yawn. Okami Umaterasu. Okami Amaterasu. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the, the origin of all that is, Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed. God, this is so slow. A way the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Why could there not be a faster text thing? In the options. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> Can we get on with it? Yes, get on with it! Wrong deity. Amaterasu, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Didn't you notice it's messed up? Since you are your timely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have these circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Oh my god. Please, use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Eh, what is this? Has something stolen its way into my rope? <laughs> what? Oh ho ho. Oh hee hee hee. What? What just happened? Okay. Whew, what was going on earth? What the hell? You again? <laughs> uh, it's a bug, it's a bug thing. Bug man. Oh, are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. Who's little? I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Maybe you could have sped it up, man. This is taking forever. Are you napping my clothes again, bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Wandering artist Isun. Great. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing now. Wow. Harsh. What's with you, Furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shinoi. Wow. Yeah, eat him. Shut him up. He's dragging us out. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? 
Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me can never be covered in wolf slaughter. Too late. You regret messing with the greatest soon. Don't make me use my prize sword. Ginko Maru against you. What the heck? What's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Okay, oh, great god, Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki Village. The village was on. Their spirits lie in case in my fr In your fruit? Cut it free and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees returned. Too normal, huh? That's a queer girl. Sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that if you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're going you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. My god. Holy crap! Can I play the game? Wow! That's amazing! It only took 17 plus minutes. Where are we? Like quiet all of a sudden. Oh wait, now I can speed. Oh my god! Remember, keep your eyes peeled. You can use the mouse to look around. Okay. All right. Oh. Why is? I didn't change it to inverted. Why is it inverted? Oh, this is so weird with the mouse. It's happening. I'm all fast and stuff. What is this? Origin mirror. Okay, save thing. Okay, cool. Save. Yes. Cool. Get me out of here. Ugh. Ugh. Why? Hold on. Okay. That's better. Oh. Look at those pots. Might be something good in the pots. I played Zelda. Bust them with your head. Use your head. Oh god. Way to go. Okay. Oh, there's a coin. Give me money. I want to be rich. All right. So apart from the, uh, you know, freaking long as hell intro, which maybe I could have made go faster. I don't know. Maybe I'll do an editing trick to make that go a little faster. A lot of that. That chest tempting. Let's check it out. Oh, wall jumping. All right. Hop. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a double jump, but on a wall. Okay. I knew you could do it. Good luck is found in high places. I've never heard that. All right. How do I open the treasure? There we go. I obtained Holy Bone S. All right. Favorite snack? Three units of solar energy. Okay. Hi, fake horse. All right. Looks like the bridge is out. Okay, yeah. Uh... Ami. <laughs> Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Nope. Okay. Sweet. Rejuvenation. Alright. Thirteen? Oh my god. Master all thirteen. There's gonna be thirteen special brush powers. Cool. Oh. River of the Heavens. They mean the fabled Stardust River? I don't know. Little puddle. What? What are you doing over here? 
What? I've already, I've already read that. I already know, my god. What's up here? Should I not go up here? Probably for later. Wow, look at the stars, twinkly, twinkle. I haven't seen such beauty, I can't skip this. In ages, hey look, are those stars forming a pattern or is it just me? Uh, yeah, that's what I see. Draw the missing star. All right, pop. <laughs> bah, looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Me either, buddy, me either. Hold the brush and then to draw, okay. So, I, but I can't do this, right? Or I can, you can't, you suck. I drew a dragon. Okay. Hi, dragon. What is up? You're stuck in paper. Yomigami. Ah, uh, why, if it isn't Mother Amaterasu or Ami. I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the 13 spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. Now I'm dead. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Okay. Is this gonna help me with with Orochi? Ow. <laughs> wow, that was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good at the brush as yours truly. Nah, couldn't be true. Um, you missed that whole spiel about me being a god. Or something. Oh. Alright, so... I guess that means I should go down there. Ha! I missed some pots. I don't need to see that every time. Oh, okay. I'm I'm guessing you want me to draw a bridge like you drew a bridge, man. That's what I'm guessing. First, I'm gonna break some pots. Bam, bam. All right. Now we'll draw a flipping bridge. I think. Drawing a bridge. Drawing a bridge. Look at this bridge I drew. Whoa! A river of stardust. I did it. I did it! I'm so good. So this really must be the river of heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing. How, did you not notice me? Oh, okay. I'm swimming. I'm... I think dog paddling. It's really hard to tell from this angle. I'm, I'm actually kind of more or less swimming. Not even dog paddling. Okay. Chest. Open. Give me... Astral pouch. It can swallow up lots of food. Okay, so it's a one-up kind of thing. Alright, so feed it food. Or a fairy, more like. Oh god, camera. Please. I missed. There we are. Alright. Oh, I consumed apple. And a peach. Okay. Hey, look, the constellations there. That's neat. Is this place gonna grow with like more constellations or something? Is that how I'm gonna free the other things? I consumed orange. I don't really need to know what an orange is like. I don't feel like that's useful information to me. All right. Through this shiny gate. Uh, okay. Shiny Gate is taking me here now. Cool. What happened to the tree and the world and, and and rescuing villagers or whatever? What happened to that? Horse! You die. We're going up this path. 
All right, we build up some speed a little bit. Oh, all the speed. Speed! Where are we going? That was a sign. Hold on. I, I need to read signs. Fountain of Nagi. Nagi? What's his name doing here? <laughs> How dare he have his name here? Wherever here is. Or pots. Visually, this game is very interesting. Ooh, more pots and horse. Um, oh, we don't want to swim. I don't. I don't know if we like swimming. We haven't established that game trope yet. All right, now going this way. Okay, through the next gate. Oh wait, no, more pots. I said to hit the pot. Damn, Ami. All right, up the path we go. Kind of slow. Okay. Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. <sighs> when are you going to wise up, dude? I am the wolf. Okay. Pots! Must destroy pots. It is my calling. As a hero. Heroes must destroy pots. Doesn't Nagi's broken sword there bug you? Nah. I'm good. Apparently bugs you though. Ugh. I knew it. You can handle a brush. Did you not know this before? Draw more careful. Oh. I didn't hold it. My bad. How high does it need to go? Come on. Quit holding back. A big minute. Okay, fine. We're going all the way. All the way to the top. Screw you. What do you want it like thicker? What do you want from me? Sure, you want it a little thick. Wait, come on. All you gotta do is draw a sword. Dude. How did I not draw that? How perfect are you expecting this to be, game? Just gonna cover it all. All of it's covered in ink. What the hell? That is stupid. That makes no sense. Come on. Ugh. Another constellation. Looks like a... Yeah, a rat. I... I believe that's a rat. Bop. I think it's a rat. Is that a rat? Maybe that's not a rat. It's a rat. It's a rat with a scabbard. And a sword. What is happening? Tachigami. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mother Amaterasu, it's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. How about your sword? Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. Alright. Cool. Ow. Hey, that was the god Tachikami. Tachigami, master of the power slash technique. And you're just like Shiranui. You know, well, uh, the wolf's power was split into 13 brush gods. Oh. It's just like a legend. Destroy boulder. Okay. Wing. And I destroyed the torch. <laughs> I think you had it in you. I'm not even the same league. Guess I'm already overestimated myself. Yeah, shut up already. It's upcoming for a ball. All the ring techniques. I'll take along. Lucky you. No. Mass power slash. That thing Saki was talking about. Oh. Okay. 
Oh. I'm leaving. I was like, I don't... Twink. Sweet! Can I, like, cut whatever I want? Oh, dude, I cut those trees down! All the trees! Oh, just the closest ones. Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. This has taken forever in a day. I hope I was able to find some way of shortening some of this, because damn. Uh, but I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Next time, uh, we'll actually start doing stuff in the game, maybe. And we can clear all the trees. Oh, there is there is a finite distance. Okay. There we go. That was a weird noise. Anyway, so that'll do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, stay frosty. Ooh. Channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms. He left. Ferociously tore to rub his sword post high. Boy's high. All the strength into his arms so he could leap with his arms. <laughs>